Hey guys, welcome back. This is where we left the last time. Click Manage button. And we will be using the advanced DNS for this part. Uh, for this part, we will be working with AWS console. Uh, please sign up if you don't have a, an account or sign in if you have an account. So I'm using my root account, as you can see. Uh, sign in and welcome to AWS console, guys. If you are wondering that I have so many services on the top and you have nothing, this is because I have bookmarked them. Just search the service you need, like Route 53, press the star, and it will be bookmarked. Uh, for this part, we will be using Route 53 and Certificate Manager service. Okay, guys, click Route 53 service, uh, hosted zone, uh, create hosted zone. Uh, type in your domain name. I'm typing mine. Uh, give it some description. It's optional, but let's type something here. Do not change anything else and create the zone. And uh, as you can see, the zone has been created and uh, you can see a bunch of NS servers here. We will be using them a little bit later. Uh, for now, we will create the certificate. Okay, open Certificate Manager in a new tab. Uh, it is crucial that you have to be in the North Virginia region. Okay, let's press the Request Certificate. Click Next. Type in your domain name here. And we, sh and we will add uh, another uh, domain name here like www your domain name or you can use the star instead of www uh, just uh, is like is a wild card in, and if you want to add a subdomain or something in future everything else uh, looks good here I'll request their certificate Uh, here's our certificate, but as you can see, it's pending validation. To validate it, uh, you need to you need to refresh, and then you need to copy everything starting from the underscore till your domain name. Uh, click copy and open name chip, and create a C name uh, record and insert the insert it right there then copy the cname value like all of them click this one okay then uh, then paste it into the value and that's it that's it that's how you do this like okay let's reduce it to one minute click okay and we have to wait it for a while like usually it takes up to like five minutes i will cut down the video here because i don't want you to wait guys and boom success you can see the certificate has been issued that's huge that's huge and we also need to create records to route 53 just press this button and um, in my case you you can see this like everything is like disabled because I've already played played with it for a while and that's why we will do everything manually and I will show you how you can do this manually just copy this value open route 53 and uh, you have to create a new record yeah just create a new record unselect and create new record and choose C name here and uh, paste this value right there and uh, copy the value from here and uh, paste it here that's the first one that's the first one and uh, looks good press create and uh, for the second one, we need a simple redirect from uh, www, uh, www to our domain, uh, flirtharbor.com. And that's it. And that's it.
that's how you uh, don't forget to select the C name. Yeah. And that's it. Everything is, everything looks good. Everything looks good. Yeah. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to copy our NS servers and paste it to Namecheap, create a NS record and uh, yeah, www and the na name of the server and do this for the rest of the servers. Uh, create a record like it is four, four of them. Okay, uh, same thing, www and the name server and the rest should go there. We're almost done. We're almost done, the, the last one. And the last one, the last one. Okay, same thing, www name server and press this arrows. That's it. That's it. This is this is how you configure your reader redirect from Namechip to Route 53 to AWS. Everything should be configured right now. Yeah. So in the next part, I will show you how you can create an S3 bucket, pull, put all your HTML files there, configure the CloudFront distribution. And uh, thanks for watching and I uh, will see you in the next one. Uh, please subscribe and put the like button if you like my video. See you guys.